Ooh. Ooh. Shout out to Theo. And Lord Varys. I don't really want that in my top secret war chamber, if that's alright. I'm the god of tits and espresso martinis. What do you think so far? Wait a second. This is the opening sequence to How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> I wanted to see how long it took you to know. Nice try. Who uh, plays the dragon? I think it's Benedict Cumberbatch. Ah, yeah, I, I can see it actually. It's the, it's the long Cumberbatch Nick. No, it's like motion capture and CGI. Can stop me! Oh. Well, I'm not sure they even needed that. The dream it was clearer than a memory. Our son was born wearing Egon's Iron Crown. And I heard the sound of thundering hooves, splintering shields, and ringing swords. And I placed our son upon the Iron Throne. That is such selective dream taking as real. I mean, you can read into any dream. If you took every single dream as a prophecy, maybe I will end up making that go-kart with my year 10 biology teacher. Oh, <laughs> they got Matthew McConaughey. Um, um, come on, go clicks. Um, um, um. No, 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 no. Ah! Ooh! Shout out to Theo. And Lord Varys. My Lord Tyrion, it was just the balls, not the shaft. And the day grows ugly. Honestly, what are they complaining about? Have they never watched Sunday League? <laughs> That wouldn't have even been a red card. These lads don't know they've been born. I'd take a proper tourney from the 90s any day. During a difficult birth, it sometimes becomes necessary for the father to make an impossible choice. I'll speak it. To sacrifice one or to lose them both. They've included a childbirth scene. I think I need some milk of the poppy for this. There is a chance that we can save the child. A technique is taught at the Citadel, which involves cutting directly into the womb to free the infant. Wow, what's that technique called? I think the medical term is a caesarean. Isn't... Isn't that a salad? It's not a caesarean salad. I think I know a caesarean when I see one. It's chicken, bacon, uh, childbirth, croutons, Delicious. Do you know Ooh. how many graphic childbirth deaths are in Lord of the Rings? I don't know. Seven? None. That's real fantasy. It's about the story, not tits and dragons. Imagine choosing between your wife and your bloodline. I know, I'm so bad at choosing. When people ask me what I want for dinner, I, I always just say, I'm easy. So if you were asked to choose between your wife and your child. You yeah, I'd say I'm easy. Paralysis of choice. A choice of two. I don't think I can watch this. Reminds me of my own birth. I'm going to need something stronger. Hey, Gindorf, I'm the god of tits and espresso martinis. Tyrion, it's eight o'clock. Uh, you won't sleep. I wasn't exactly going to make a Bloody Mary, was I? Gindolf, have you ever been to Amsterdam? Of course I have. Only place you can get the old Toby Brownies without the Hobbit Popo pulling you over. They have these shows there just for grown-ups where you can watch people, you know, it, it's great. But then you look up and you make eye contact with 
some creepy old dude who is also watching and it it just it really takes you out of the moment you know where's Rhaenyra your grace this is the last thing any of us wish to discuss at this dark hour but I consider the matter urgent what matter that of your succession ah succession like that show uh, succession have you seen succession oh, fuck I off. haven't but I've heard good things and you fuck off. How about you? Have you seen Succession? Uh, me? No, uh, no I, ha I haven't, but uh, I've heard it's good. I, I've heard it's, ex it's exciting. Uh, my, and my dad, uh, my dad never loved me. You're not the only one. HBO crossover episode. <laughs> What kind of accent was that? Spanish. I, honestly, this high Valyrian accent is all over the place. The heir for a day. Did you say it? We must all mourn in our own way, Your Grace. You grieve by roasting your dead nephew at a brothel. I, I don't know, maybe I'd get some CBT for that if I were you, mate. What are you saying? My brother would murder me. Take my crown. Are you? Please. Damon has ambition, yes. But not for the throne. He lacks the patience for it. Where is the security in this damn palace? And uh, what kind of architect makes what should be the most top secret room in the entire kingdom? Sir, we've finished the blueprint. Though we've popped in like a really holy wall. L like a proper porous listening wall. An eavesdropping wall, if you will. No, I don't really want that in my top secret war chamber, if that's all right. I only asked you to put in an extra plug point. Ah, well, I've done the blueprints now, and it will cost like 200 quid to redo them. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. A king or queen, strong enough to unite the realm against the cold and the dark. Aegon called his dream the Song of Ice and Fire. His song of ice and fire. I wonder if in the dream they destroy seven seasons of character arc in 30 seconds as well. I just hope that dream was written by George R. R. Martin and not D and D. Now I, I don't want to be too critical, but that was a pile of dog shite. Ah, careful, Gandalf. Remember. The rings of power comes out in two days. Oh.